Okay. <laughs> this is crazy. Um, we're going to try playing a game called Waltz of the Wizard. Oh, by the way, okay. You probably hear me a lot better now because the microphone's actually on this. I'll show you. There's a webcam attached to my headset. That webcam is what's giving you the uh, first person view. The one you previewed on your channel. I'm going to play a new one today. I'm going to play Wall to the Wizard. It is a free game, more like a tech demo. Won't take too long, but I don't have a lot of time to stream tonight. Um, but I want to start posting that on my channel as well. But uh, so, yeah, here you have. The webcam, there's the other webcam. So this webcam, this webcam over here uh, looks at the green screen over there. That's why in the corner you can see me or you can see me from that webcam. And then this one gives you a first person view of uh, what I see. Okay, um, I think we're ready to go. Let me see, is there an image? There is an image, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, I think I'll, I'll start up. Okay, controllers are on, I gotta put the headset on. Stand where X marks the spots. I calibrated it, I calibrated it for, um, uh, I have a piece of tape on the ground here. I don't know if you can see it. Where is it? Hang on. X marks the spot. Where is it? There it is right there. And so hopefully I'll stay in that frame because I set it up for standing. There we go. I need the heads to actually take the controllers first. And next I'm going to get the headset so I can hear stuff. The only bad thing is anything you type in chat, I cannot see it. That's the only bad thing. Now, this should be able to bring up the feed, but they don't do that anymore. So I'm going to have to use the ins. So there's a, you're seeing this on screen, or you might see this. I don't know if you will. There's a picture in picture where I am, so I can actually see where my computer is, which is over there. And I can see my headset, which is right here and go back to the X. So I'm standing on the X, right about there. Put the headphones on correctly. Tighten them up a bit. And we are good. Whoa, whoa, world went crazy there. That's what happens when you, uh, when you block the sensors. So you may not see this, and I don't even know if you see the world I'm standing in. Oh, you know what? I got to load up the world and then have you see it. So give me a sec because you're probably seeing a black screen. Uh, library, mm -hmm. VR, we want to play. Well, so the wizard is probably going to be at the bottom. Play in VR. I agree. The license agreement. Yes, yes. I will have to pull the headphone, the headset off in a moment because I want to make sure that you see what I see because the game may not, whoa, that was fucking close. Doors right here, okay, good. So, I'm gonna pull this off, yeah, you don't see what I see. Okay, give me a sec. Ugh. Game capture. Now you might see what I see. Hang on, let's back up. Yep, now you see what I see. And we'll see how bad this looks when I increase it in size. So I want to trip over the cable. Yeah, it's going to have to be that way with the black bar. It's too bad. Ah, hang on. That, yeah, I know, I know. I want to see if I can fiddle around with this. Hang on. Uh, kind of balance it out just a touch. I 
That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Small little gap. Big deal. No big deal. Okay, so let's get into it. I have to reset the game because I played this game quite a bit. I get my headset on, so I'm in, I'm in virtual reality. And I'm standing in the circle. So you don't see this, but in, in my screen, oh, check out the hands. Woo! <laughs> um, so you don't see this, but on my screen, I see the doorway. Well, you see the doorway, but at, the, at my feet, because I set up the VR to be uh, standing. Um, because I set up the VR to be standing rather than uh, a room scale so I can walk around. The whole reason I'm doing that, setting it up as standing, is because uh, I want to be able to stay in the camera focus so you can see me. Um, you, but you don't see the boundary, but I see a boundary near me, so I shouldn't step outside that boundary or, sh or should at least attempt to stay within it. Oh, they added these wisps. These wisps were in here before. I played, a, I played this quite a bit. Now, this game is made uh, by, oh my god, they showed the name of the, the company. Uh, is it right there? There it is. Alden Dynamics. So it's made by Alden Dynamics. It's not per se a game. It's more like a tech demo, which is really awesome. Uh, and let me show you how it works. Come on, damn cord. I want to check something real quick. Yeah, floor's right where it should be. And in we go. Okay, uh, sorry, my ear itched a little bit there. So we are in the wizard's castle. Yes, we are. So check it out. I want to see, because it's been a while since I've been in here. I want to see if they've changed anything. Doesn't look like it. I don't remember seeing that banner up there. That map, I don't remember seeing that map. So maybe they did do some updates. So I'm going to reset the game. Yeah, so uh, pressing the top button on the controller gives me quality settings. So I'm running at about, see, you can see right there, it says 80 frames. It's bouncing between 53 frames all the way up to 90 frames. It's on high. That's about restore room or restore everything. Reset all progress. I guess resets everything. Troll mode. Surprise your friends by assuming control over the skull. Press F1 at any time to control him using a mouse and keyboard. That is fucking cool. I might do that to my buddy tomorrow. He's going to come over and play. Okay, um, we're going to restore the room. Uh, oh, that restores it in case I mess it all up. So we're going to reset. So we reset all progress, and we'll start from scratch. So now you'll notice what looked a little... It looks pretty much the same, but what was the main difference is... See here on this rack, it says spells. This rack here is where basically... I, I have to create spells and they get stored there. And this little hand right here resets the room or resets that spell. Sorry, not the room. And these here on the right are my ingredients as a wizard. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so the idea or the objective is to make a new spell by combining three ingredients. And what we do is we use one ingredient from each platform here. So eyeball. And I'm just doing this randomly. Star. And then we'll grab this stuff, throw it in there too. And that made a spell. Transmute. First dance makes objects fly and flutter by. Hold very still for them to land, and you may meet the butterfly. Okay, so simply touch something. He's telling me what to do. Simply touch something. The guy explained what the spell is. You see, I put them in. There's my spell on the on the actual uh, rack, and so all I need to do is touch something. So I lost my light there, but look at that turned into a butterfly. And you could do that pretty much with anything: crossbow, this light, the skull. Not not this, I guess. Nope. The money, and they're all butterflies. Look at this. And come on, land. There you go, buddy. Oh, another one. <laughs> Transmute. So I, I turn objects into butterflies. 
that's it. Actually, that's probably one of my least favorite ones, but it's pretty cool, you gotta admit. Look at all the butterflies. <laughs> Come on. There he is. So I pull my other hand up. Come on. Oh. Come on, guys. That's pretty cool. All right. So now if I uh, touch here, it says clear magic. All butterflies disappeared. Half of my stuff, the lights came back, but half of my stuff didn't. So I lost my chessboard, and that ah, doesn't matter. You could do all kinds of stuff in this game. Look at this. And this is what I like about it. It's it's a kind of a game of exploration. Total discovery. There you go. Bingo. <laughs> Oh, mouse. So there's a crossbow. And I'm trying to get the mouse. Got it. <laughs> Watch this. Oh! Did you see that? <laughs> oh, so this is the thing about this game. There's all kinds of stuff you can interact with. And unless you try something, you will never know. The base of the game is to make these spells, but you can interact with pretty much anything in, in, in this area, which is amazing. Look, there's a guy over there. Got him. <laughs> he came up off the stairs. Okay. So here we have the skull, and this guy's my instructor. And watch this, if I throw him in the, in the pot. The pot is not intended as a child's plaything. He won't let me do it. All right, so let's see if we can make another spell here. And oh, there's stuff underneath too. Green screen's behind me, right? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right, let's try. I can't remember what I tried. Eyeball this stuff. And uh, I think it was the green one. So let's do red. This pot. And then the little doll here. What did I make? Weightless. Awesome. Ways, but with this power, it will seem like very. So all I have to do is touch, touch items. Just poke something. I am poking something. Oh damn it! I lost it. <laughs> oh, I'll get into that later. Oh, that object hit the thing on the wall. Can I pick it up? Yes, I can. Now, here's one thing about VR. It's awesome because you really have that sense of depth, that sense of it's there right in front of you, like floating around. But when you pick an object up, there's no weight to it. There's nothing. And that kind of sucks. There's, there's, there's a giant. Oh, I don't have my boot. I don't have my... Oh, I hit the clock. And then day and night changes when you do that. And I can't shoot the stupid... Oh, I can't get it. Ugh. Generally, when the giant looks through the window, I grab the gun and then shoot him. But that didn't happen this time. Oh, that was awesome. All right, let's reset the spell. This spell is actually quite, quite fun. But watch this. See all the objects that are flying? They all fall. Oh, good. My gun. <laughs> he went in the hole. <laughs> Look, he came back. I got him in the eye. So, I don't know. We have a few more spells to make here. However, I picked up this thing, watch this, and it's a sword, and when I pick it up, that guy on the wall there starts firing these red balls, and if you keep playing the game, it gets faster and faster, 
and faster, and I'm not even making any of the potions I'm supposed to make. I don't know if I can keep up. I've never been able to totally do it. He's gonna get quicker. Oh, I missed! I missed! I'll bet there's some sort of secret. I missed again. Missed again! There's some sort of secret if you get them all. But you can see it's getting faster. That. You can actually catch them. feel like a, a Jedi. Holy cow! They made it worse. They made it way worse. Oh. And everything goes back to normal. Okay. Do I have all my ingredients here? Yes, I do. Stay here. Stay here. No, no, no. Okay. That eyeball just doesn't want to stay in one spot. Stay where it's at. That's fine. Okay. So... <laughs> I hope you're enjoying this, because uh, I can't read or see or hear what you're saying. Anyways, let's try mixing a few different ones. Uh, we, we'll do this, and we'll do... What was the one over here? Eyeball. Let's do eyeball. Oh, no. Sometimes you end up making the same one again. Fireball! Oh, yes. Whoa. <laughs> it's, um... It's a lot harder to, than it looks to aim. Oh, there's that guy. Can I set him on fire? He doesn't even budge. Damn it. Got him. Oh, that last one should have hit him. I hit my ceiling. I wonder if... So the night... The night doesn't budge. Instead... Let me reset. Okay. The night doesn't budge. But if I grab an object... And toss it at him... He catches it, and I might be able to catch it. Sometimes I can catch it and then throw it back, and it's a lot of fun. Oh! Anyways, we need that later. <laughs> so we made uh, Weightless, Fireball, and Transmute. We're going to make something else. Oh, I just got a notification showing me who's playing a game. Oh, that's pretty cool. In Steam. All right. Actually, can I use it to look at my watch? I can look at my watch. This is incredible. That's pretty cool. Okay. Okay, so. Um, what are we going to do next? We're going to do some ingredients. But see, I've lost some of my ingredients. So what we need to do is... Restore the room. That way we don't lose anything. 
Like all our stuff is back where it should be, but we have our spells still made. And I almost uh, just when I did that, the damn giant showed up again. All right, no worries. We're gonna mix some more ingredients here. Come up with another spell. I might have done that one already. Air drawing. And when you do it, or when you actually, look at that. You affect pretty much everything in the room. Ha <laughs> ha, I love it. This is like superpowers. Right into the night. Oh, I stopped the chair. He's trying to throw stuff at me. <laughs> 